In this video, I will show you how to set up DocuSign Autoplace so that it knows exactly where you want your fields to be, no matter what the document that you're sending is. Hey there, it's Sofian here. Welcome back to this channel. As you know, I'm a DocuSign expert who helps businesses implement digital signature and workflow automation solutions. And today I'm about to show you how you can teach DocuSign where you want fields to be without you having to replace them every time manually. There might be times when the documents that you're sending are a little shorter or longer than the documents that you have saved in the template. Your fields won't be positioned exactly where you want them to be for that specific situation. So you will end up having to reposition them manually one after the other. Instead of doing this, you can teach DocuSign where you want your fields to be so that DocuSign will reposition the fields exactly where they should be. To do this, we need to set up a feature called Autoplace. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's say that I'm a HR manager and I wanna send a letter of offer to a new candidate. I'm gonna show you first what the document in the template looks like. So as you can see, it's only on one page and we've got the acceptance part here at the bottom. Now, this is the one that's saved in the template, but let's just say that the one that I wanna send contains the job description. Okay. And actually, let's just add a few extra lines. Now I'm gonna save this and upload it into DocuSign. So I'll go new, send an envelope, upload, let of offer. Okay, so here DocuSign has found a match. So it's trying to help me by applying the workflow as well as the field. So let's just click on apply. Next. And here, if I scroll down, what happens is I've got my fields in the wrong spot. They should be here, really. So now what I need to do is go back to the template and set up auto place so that the fields will actually automatically be placed here and always in the right spot, no matter how short or how long the document gets. Let's just cancel that one. Go to your template and do edit. Okay, and so from here, I need to look for a certain word or string of words that I can use as an anchor. So I could potentially use director human resources just here, but the problem with this is if I or someone ever wants to change the length that there is between the word candidate and the name of the company, we'll have the same problem. So what I like to do is go back to the source document and add a string of words that I can hide by making it white in the document and I try to make it as close as I can to the actual fields, basically in a spot that I know will never ever change. So let, I'll show you what I mean. So in the Word document here, I could add some kind of text just right here. And I can actually write kind of text if I want to, because I know that no one will ever want to write something here. So it doesn't really matter um, if I place something here and I make it white so that then DocuSign will be able to pick it up and so I can set up auto place on this, but not the actual people who will receive the document and sign it. So now that I've changed my Word document template, I need to upload this into my template in DocuSign. So swap around the document that's saved in the template. So I'm going to save this. And now I go back to DocuSign and replace the document that is saved in the template. So I'm not sending a new envelope, I'm just editing the template. And so the way to do this is I click just right here, replace, and then I select my Word document, which now contains the anchor text. So now that I'm back in the template and I've got my, I've swapped around the source document, I can set up my other place on my fields. All right, so let's start with the signature field for the candidate. So drag and drop your field, then go to location, and there's a setup button just under other place. Just paste the text or just enter the text and click apply. So DocuSign knows that the text in white is just right here, even if we can't see it ourselves. Now, I just need to place it exactly where I want it to be. And DocuSign now knows that this field needs to be 128 pixels from the left and 216 pixels from the top of the string of words that I've just used as an anchor. So I'm just gonna do this for all my fields. Okay. 
Okay, now let's just save and close. Now, if I go back to my Word document, and let's just say I add another three pages. You can see that the acceptance part is now on, was it, is it the fourth? On the third page. So let's close this. And I'm going to call it, so that you can see that I'm not cheating, uh, letter of offer three. And I'm going to upload this into DocuSign as if I was sending a new envelope. So I go new, send an envelope, I'm going to upload the last version of the file that I've created with you now. So letter of offer three, and I should have a match with the template that I've just updated before. Great. That's actually the second one, not the first one. Click on apply and next. Now my fields should only be on the third page. Let's see if that's worked. Not on the first, not on the second. And there you go. The fields are exactly where we want them to be. And that's how you set up other place. And that's how you tell DocuSign where you want your fields to be. I upload this kind of content on a weekly basis. So if you want to be notified of the next videos, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. If you want to explore my consulting options, you can use the link in the description of this video. And I will see you in the next lesson.